I encourage everybody to run for public office, for public service. It is at the most wonderful experience I have ever had in my life, and I'm going to give it everything I have this time because the stakes are huge, all right? We'll never have. We will never have a chance like this again because the demographics really are going against us. You look at Deval Patrick uh, today, he, he produced, uh, I think, 131 points, basically, as to how to give uh, you know, illegal immigrants rights that we've all won legally you know, and, and, and yeah. as citizens and all. Those demographics are going against us. And if we don't take it back this year and stop it, and do the right thing for the commonwealth of the country, we will lose forever. So let me just tell you a couple of things that I think are very important up in the Merrimack Valley here and up, up in this region, certainly. We have now, uh, I have been working with Carla Howell and her group. We have uh, over 100,000 signatures, and we are putting on the ballot, it'll be voted on November 2010, a rollback of the sales tax, not to 5%, but to 3%. 3%. <laughs> yeah. And if you look at this, and if you look at this, it'll make us more competitive with every single state that surrounds us, including New York, except for New Hampshire. But damn it, being 3% on sales tax as opposed to being, uh, you know, having someone at 0% right across the line and all, puts us in a whole different ballgame. And if you're a small business person or you're, you're a taxpayer and you've got a business in and around those borders, folks, Right? You're back in business. I'll tell you. I had gas stations where people would travel a half a mile to save two cents. You don't think they're going to travel, you know, across the line in Rhode Island, Connecticut, uh, uh, New York, Vermont, and Maine to, to uh, buy here. All right? And that's the only way we're going to create jobs is if we have to lower this tax burden. It's got to be affordable because I'll tell you, like, uh, like a, a Celtics coach said a few years ago, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, and Kevin McHale are not walking through that door. There's no CEO worth his or her salt that's going to bring their company to Massachusetts when their employees can't afford to live here. When the regulation just takes everything out of the company's will to be in business here in Massachusetts. So we've got to lower the burden. And, and I really, really, folks, that 3% uh, sales tax rollback will do the trick. It'll do the trick. It'll do the trick up here because as soon as they, they increase that sales tax, uh, unemployment rate went to 9.3%. Our state, uh, uh, state revenues went down $234 million the month after they raised the sales tax. And consequently, uh, or coincidentally enough, the last time they raised the sales tax, in 1975, it went from 3% to 5%. And we had huge unemployment the next year. 1976, unemployment spiked again. So they don't get it up on Beacon Hill because they don't understand the pennies, all right? They understand the millions of dollars and the billions, but they don't get the pennies, all right? And being in a penny business, I get it. I really do get it. A few other things is that uh, all my competitors in this race, one that raised your taxes, one that, that lost $12.8 billion of state pension fund value in the stock market last year, even lost $50 million to Bernie Madoff, the state treasurer, uh, they want to be promoted. They want they want a promotion. They've done good. In my business, you show them the doa. You show them the doa. Uh, so in each one of my three opponents, they're in line to collect a big, fat state pension. I would never take one. And any of you, you in this room, that when we get there together and you're, and you're uh, coming on to my administration, come on to do the public service. We're going to need you. We'll pay you well and everything. But you're going to have to sign a waiver that you're not going to be part of the state pension system because we can't afford it. Yeah. We can't. So I could go on all night long, but I can tell you this. If you're looking for an insider, I'm not your guy. No one's ever going to confuse me with being an insider up on Beacon Hill because I fought the good fight on the Turnpike Authority with Big Dig and all, and went up against big business, big labor, big government, and big media. If you want status quo, if you want the insiders, heck, vote for the other three guys. They'll, they'll give you your status quo. And as Dick says, we'll be keep going, spiraling down that black hole. Just spiraling down. And Massachusetts is worth the fight.
It's worth the fight, and I won't let you down. Thank you very much. Thank you. All yours, Commander. All yours.